What's up guys, Miss Zigzag here, sports analyst turned rapper. What? What up, Pac? What's good, homie? Who gonna win the Super Bowl? Huh? What? Who gonna win the Super Bowl? Huh? Hey, bro, the great matchup weekend. is set. Great weekend, great weekend. Yeah. Um, It wasn't that great of a weekend. Actually, fuck that weekend. I, uh, I had the chance to be great, and uh, I picked yeah. Baltimore from from uh, you know preseason. I, I man, it looked I felt good going into it. I, I thought I was gonna look like a genius. Then I fell flat on my face. Um, didn't go well. It happens sometimes. It happens sometimes. It happens sometimes. It ha and I, I could have taken the the square route and picked the the same team to go to the Super Bowl again. I, I went a little out there, and they didn't uh they didn't win. Pat Pack talking about this game. What went wrong for Baltimore? Um, first thing I can tell you is they didn't fucking double Kelsey off the bus. I would have been doubling Kelsey off the fucking bus. He had 11 carries, I mean 11 catches for 116 yards and a touchdown. He basically changed the whole morale of the game. Sometimes you can see Patrick Mahone in the back throwing off his back foot. He makes a, um, Kelsey make an unbelievable pay. We've been talking about the Kelsey brothers. The one thing about these fucking brothers, they perform good up on the fucking yeah. pressure. The one jumped over the whole fucking rail, landed in the snow, jumped back over the rail, and drunk a beer. So, like, shout out to the Kelsey brothers. You know, they everybody's talking shit about, oh, they always showing Taylor Swift. Well, what I'm telling you is, since he been with Taylor Swift, the game have went from here to here. They had one bag week. And, like, you know, you can see the difference. It's a lot of people don't like that. And I don't want to say no names. Teammates, you could tell. It's a little hate, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, I think Andy Reid is one of the best offensive coordinators in the game. He showed it last week. He he just basically took the ball out of Baltimore hand and said, all right, I'm going to do what I want to do with the ball. Control the time of clock. Um, Lamar did not play like Lamar normally play, I should say. And the question we had before this was, can Lamar be Lamar? Because we know Patrick Mahomes is going to be Patrick Mahomes. And I, yeah. and he missed three three bad, I mean, I ain't going to say bad throws, but he missed three good ones. Um, Flowers, that, that ball that got stripped from Flowers on the goal line was the change in play of the game. They scored right there. They only down three. So, um, yeah. It was an interesting weekend. Yeah, lob the ball in the triple coverage. I didn't understand Todd Munkin's game plan. No, six runs to the running backs. That's how they got there. They led the league in rushing attempts. They led the league in rushing yards. They're a tough team. They used the no, run to set up the no pass. No Mitchell. No Mitchell. No Mitchell. They ran good against Houston, though. Um, yeah, Mitchell has a different dimension. So did J.K. Dobbins. They lost both of them. So, yeah. off the bat, your, your two biggest playmakers at running back are out. Um, they kind of turned Lamar into a pocket passer. Not his greatest strength. His best strength is when he gets to use his legs. He can do it, but clearly not as well as Mahomes. You can't throw Lamar in a shootout with Mahomes. He's going to lose. So, just didn't, uh, just didn't so get it. I don't want to shit on Lamar too bad, even though no. with the pig and stuff. But he did throw more yards. Than Patrick Mahomes. I think he had, what, 255? Sure. Patrick Mahomes had 230. But when you go yeah. back and look at the whole outcome of the game, um, yeah, it was a little different. Yeah, I don't think Mahomes missed a throw. respect on Patrick or... Mahomes' name there. Yeah. I, I, I don't think Mahomes had a bad play the last name, three weeks. Man. Red Cup for Patrick Mahomes. Though. Yeah. He's pretty much been perfect. Literally, hasn't missed a throw. And Kelsey haven't missed the ball. May no, maybe one. No. Maybe one. He's, He's not even really getting good. separation like he used to. He just catches at the point of attack. Well, big as his ass is, you know, he's a Cincinnati yeah. boy. He's a big country boy. He can he play yeah. real good physical. Um he reminds me of D uh DeAndre Hopkins as a tight end. Um D Hop, he ain't the fastest, he ain't the strongest, but it's a dog fight every fucking play with him catching the ball, so that's what make him so good, too. Yeah, and Mahomes knows exactly where to put it. They're a dangerous, dangerous, dangerous duo. At the end of the day, though, you can blame the fumble. You can blame the, the picks and all that. The relics factor here, we all know. It was the Swifties. They turned the whole momentum around, showed up in droves. 
You can say what you want. We can analyze the game, you know, but when you're dealing with that type of attack, it's tough. I don't think Swifty had nothing to do with this one. Big, big factor. I don't think so. I don't know. Big fact here. A lot of momentum, a lot of, uh, a lot of energy in the building. You don't think Lamar felt a little bit of pressure that Taylor Swift was watching from the box? Um, I think Patrick Mahomes felt more pressure than than he did. Really? Like he got to perform. Didn't you see what his dad said? Oh yeah, his yeah, dad yeah. talking his, big his shit dad's right now. That's hilarious. Oh, shout my out to him. God. Uh, get him in the booth. Dad, we need dad. We need a. We need him on the interview. Yeah, we do. Say hell no, I ain't looking fucking for Taylor Swift. <laughs> Damn, Dad, what do you mean? She's right there. I, I don't want to sit with her. <laughs> Yo, he took his sweet time to get to the booth. He was in the park, and I was like, ah, let me get there for. Let me, I let me, let it. me drag. He, he, he's not, he's not for the circus, man. Um, he nah. smoked the Lamar they came pack to win, after. Man. Yes. He said he got that thing from Cuba, didn't he? Yeah. God. Gee, I, by the way, opposite of his son. Yes. Nah. Which is the funniest same. part. Same, bro. Mahomes is not talking like that bro, interview. Same, He's media bro. trained. Bro, He's media same. trained. That's just because I wish Mahomes talked like that. I bet yeah. you he talks so much shit when you're playing like darks or bowling. Oh, yeah, during. Or... Yeah. That's what that's what the great do, bro. Don't let it fool you. He got an image yep. to uphold because he's a quarterback. He talked plenty of shit. You could tell he talked shit. I played against him, and he's talked shit to me. I ain't he... saying there's no bad shit, but like that's no, no, what, no. I like it. That's what good players do. Yeah. What were some of the lines he threw at you? Uh, I remember when I was in Denver, he threw the no look, and was like, "Did you see that? What the fuck are you talking about?" <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? This was a good good pass. He threw a, yeah. one with a left handed on this too. Who's was up that game? But yeah. I like Mahomes. I'm a big fan of uh, the Mahomes and the Mahomes family. Y'all keep doing y'all thing, man. Smell me! Legend. Legend, legend, legend. Inks is stamp. Four Super Bowl appearance. Six Hammer Championships. The next game, the next game was even crazier than the first game. What? Somehow, somehow, the Lions jumped on them, sicked them from the get-go in San Francisco. Some tweets were flying. People were already ready to talk about next year. They were up 17, and then the 49ers got going. They got rolling. What went wrong for the Lions? Here come Shannon. Here come Shannon. Oh my God. No way they should have won this game. No way. No way. We've been talking we've been talking about this pressure the whole time. I ain't even see no fucking pressure this game. Not none. No. The back end played shitty the first half. The linebackers played good the whole game. They found a way to, to work it out. Um, Purdy is good. But I don't know if Purdy is great. Just look at some of those plays. Just look. It's a little different. Um. Love McCaffrey. He played an unbelievable game. Um, on the other side, Dave Montgomery, the running back, good game. Quarterback, good game. Just <laughs> golf them and the boys just couldn't figure a way to, to pull this one out. But it was a good game overall. I think um, special teams played a little bit to do with this too. Yeah. Um, Dan Campbell. Oh, he but I won. For I won. Hold on. I forgot to put that part in. But I won. I bet we're lying with the points. Oh, you yeah. took them with the point. Okay. On our show. You forgot? I forgot. All right. What'd you take? My bad. 
I took the Niners minus seven. Uh, to the Lions. So I lost. So even though y'all at home, huh? Cheers to y'all too. I got fucking backdoor covered again. Play some goddamn defense. My God. Jesus, can you let him waltz into the end zone? Little old Jared Goff. And by the way, can we fix the... I, I would like the onside kick to be a little more suspenseful. I don't know. Sure, I, I would like for there to be... They're like... It's like, what, 3% right now? I would like there to be a little bit... I, I personally like the crazy-ass comeback. So, maybe a little tweak there. Um, backdoor covered me. But, but... It was a good call by you because the Lions were up 17 points at half. So it was a good read. They had some things not go their way. Gibbs, the fumble. Ugh, that was bad. That was bad. Reynolds Real drops bad. the ball. Fourth down. Yikes. He's usually reliable. Um, a cut, man, they could have gone fourth and four. It's a long four or a 46-yard field goal. I would have taken my points. But Dan Campbell's a crazy guy. He's like, we got to hit at blackjack when he has 18. So... He went balls I, to the I wall. Think, I, <sighs> I think DCMC should have took the points on that one, but yeah, stick to your guns, bro. If you're going to take the points during the regular season, <sighs> take the points. If you ain't going to take them, don't take them. I'm not falling anybody in this game. Um, well, I'm not falling DCMC or Jerry. He Gold. got them there. I think, I think they all play good now. Yeah. Did they let Jerry do- golf down? Mm. 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 I think so. It's a lot of balls that should have been caught. This game yeah. wouldn't even be nothing to talk about. Um, so, my prediction on this, uh, I mean, it's not my prediction. My conclusion on this is, Jared Goff is a good fucking quarterback. We've been sleeping on Goff. Goff knows I turn it on. Second conference championship. I, what did you think about Dan Campbell's comments after the game? Or he said, hey, you guys I, might not get this opportunity again. That's real, but it's bullshit. I don't want to hear that. Like, as a coach. Oh, yeah, guys, you know, play good, man, but we might not never. Shut the fuck up. How you know? You don't know. Why are you speaking in negative into the uh, universe? I uh, guess what I say. Like, fuck that. I don't want, me as a player, I don't want to hear. Hey, we lost as a team. Boom, boom. Let's get the fuck up out of here and figure how we get our ass back to the D. I don't need no no coach telling me, oh, you know, we lost, but we might not never make it here. You don't think we fucking know that, coach? <laughs> and I'm a fan. And I'm a fan of him, too. But, like, come on, bro. I don't uh, need this shit. Yeah, that would have pissed me off, too. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's not what, uh, not what you want to hear after that. At all. Especially no. after, after a tough loss like that, bro. You don't want to yeah, and it's it. true, but it just didn't have to be said. You could, you could have, you could have kept that one in his mind. We well, say what's understood don't need to be said. Yeah, that was one of those moments. Another thing that's interesting to me is the players. Um, some of them kind of partying after a loss. They're getting, you know, whatever. It doesn't seem like the end of their world. You know, obviously they all tried their fucking best, right? Yeah. How, when you you had some tough losses. How did you feel after a, a loss like that? What you mean? Like, could you go out to a club after that? Go out anywhere I want to fucking go. I play hard. Fuck. Yeah. Some of the players I'm said, like, going. the fans almost bro. care more. Bro. Fans my ass. I play hard as I can yeah. play. Season up yeah. with. Now it's time for me to enjoy myself. Or yeah. I'm going back next week to go back to work. Period. Point blank. Yeah. We don't say that shit when we, regardless of what we going through, and we get our holidays off. Oh yeah, you had a bad show last week. You think you shut the fuck up, lady? Yeah, I mean, or sir, whoever it is. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck. Come on. Man. Can't do that. You, see, you see the Lions fan on the floor crying. Yeah. That happens though. I, I've cried by the playoff game before too. Yeah, I will Tough, say that. Man, thirty-one years and then oh, you're yeah. this close. The stage is set. 
Two teams what? with a lot of experience in this type of game. Chiefs Niners rematch. We saw the Super Bowl four years ago. Back at it. Shanahan versus Reed. Mahomes versus a new face and Purdy. Pack. 49ers minus one and a half. Chiefs plus one and a half. Damn near a pick 'em. What's your name? We can change here. Hey, th th we got there's a lot of, there's a lot of time left for the game. A lot can happen. But right now, what's your pick? Right now, my pick would be the Chiefs. Plus one and a half. Um Swifties. They got motion. Got a lot of yeah. motion right now. Um, like I said before. And the Reed still got sauce. They just knocked the Bills and the uh hold on. They just Andy Reed still got sauce. They just knocked the Bills and the Ravens off. Woo! Woo! Chiefs! He gonna do it again. I'm, he yeah. gonna do it again. Patrick Mahomes I'm and tired the boys. I'm fucking doubting them. I can't. He gonna do it again. I got the Chiefs too. I think they win. You better? Plus 105. Yeah? Yeah. I picked them last year. It's similar yeah. to last year's game. The Eagles were better across the board. Had so much talent. Mahomes is just that guy. He, he, yeah, yeah. Man, when, when you get a close game like this, you just you you when you got a quarterback like that who's generational, it's just tough to go against him. How can you after these last three games? And like the Chiefs have they they uh front eight right now. I mean, say front seven is playing yeah. really, really, really goddamn good. Um, yeah, McCaffrey gonna get his carries. Um. Purdy ain't gonna run the ball out the backfield like Lamar, so that's another person that can drop back. I just, I just feel the Chiefs got good coaching, and they got really good players. They got a good running back who run like he's running through a goddamn wall every time he's running the ball. He's so awkward, you know. <laughs> Someone said he runs like a horse with Down syndrome. I'm like, bro, how, you learn how to run <laughs> like that, bro? Yeah, you got it. Yeah, yeah. I like the Chiefs. Plus one and a half, and I like the under. Under. Yeah, yeah. This is the best defense they've had in a while. Chris Jones, Sneed, undercover dog. Yeah. <sighs> Took a lot of guys. The offensive line's built pretty well. Where they're lacking is receivers, and Rasheed Rice stepped up. Rasheed Rice has some Devo to him. He's loose. He's a problem. He's absolutely a problem. That was a great draft pick. Um, yeah, it's just I think it's gonna be another razor close game, just like the last time they played the Niners, just like the, the Eagles game was, but Mahomes just pulls magic and finds a way. Which is what the greats do. They find a way. It's what Brady did, that's what Mahomes has been doing. So are we both saying the Chiefs gonna win the Super Bowl? Yeah, and do we have the same Super Bowl MVP? Do you think Mahomes won Super Bowl MVP too? I think Kelsey. Kelsey plus one thousand. I think Kelsey. That's my bet. I'm gonna bet with Kelsey. All right. I'm gonna go my home. I'm gonna go safe here. Dark horse, Chris Jones. But go my home. Kelsey. Chris Jones, he he could Donald it. You know, he could really Kelsey. disrupt it. It's the Kelsey, bro. It's the Kelsey's brother year, bro. Yeah. Hey, no, matter of fact, the, whoever is listening to this call, can y'all go ahead? This is one of I want to take a thousand dollars off my account that I've been winning on all this time and bet a thousand that Kelsey is the MVP. There you go. Yeah, can we get that limit raise? Yeah. Thousand. Plus one thousand. What's the you limit? Win that What's bet the limit? pack? I don't know, but What's it's fine. It might be. I'm not sure. I, I I gotta ask the guys. We gotta ask the for you it's a thousand pack. We got you. Um, if and when he wins Super Bowl MVP, then uh, you would win ten thousand dollars. That could even get you through a night at Magic City. Well, we'll be on Friday. Yeah, single release. Out. I mean, single release party. I should say this Friday. 
202 people tune in pac-man the real pac-man jones ferrari kit shout out to universal you smell me? shout out and packing Zach. another another very important question does travis kelsey propose to taylor swift after the game if they win this is it's a possibility i will do it there's a betting line on it Bet online. Put some money on my account. I'm going yes. I'm going yes too, Zach. There's no way I would say no to that. How beautiful. I might cry. I don't know about that. It's touching. It's touching. Yeah, Shout out to the Swifties. That ain't that it's, it's that goddamn touching to me, Pac. No, it's not, bro. Is it cool if I wear Taylor Swift merch to like Vegas during Super Bowl week or? Whatever floats your boat, buddy. All right. Respect. Yeah. I gotta get some Eras Tour merch. I'm not gonna say nothing to you anyway. Yeah. Yeah, they better not. If you're there. Right. Huh. We good. Top flight security of the world, right? Facts, facts, facts. Pack, we're going to talk a little bit of ball. We're going to talk a little bit of ball. What are we doing? Oh, by the can we speak about how goddamn good you were at basketball? I was, bro. Uh, actually, you know what? S speaking of basketball, this week, um, my 33-0 and team, we went 33-0. and was the first team to go 33-0. and Won state and national championship at Westlake High School. Having a reunion this week um, for our accomplishment and to honor the coach, that's going to be pretty good. But, yeah, really good, bro. McDonald's All-American. You smell me? No cap. Yeah. McDonald's All-American. Were you dunking at 14 in game? Eighth grade? Yeah, I was. Bouncing <laughs> it. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> High school was really Duncan nasty, in though. in the game. High school, oh I God. came down as a freshman. I never, they used to like, we won't pack. But we was, we was really good, though, bro. You had D1 offers, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For Georgia basketball. Tech. Yeah, and you're not, I mean, you're, I, Notre I met your Dame. teammate. He was really Georgia. tall. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so Notre Dame, Georgia. Do you think you could have made the NBA if you pursued that full time? Yeah. I could have did anything I wanted to do. <laughs> anything. Yeah. Yeah. In another life. And I could sh at that time, I could shoot it from anywhere. Like, bro, I would shoot 1,000 jumpers a day, bro, in the projects. Every day, yep. just to have something to do. So, yeah, my work ethic was crazy, bro. But, yeah, I definitely could have made it. I mean, no question about it. We need to see the tape. I get you some. I would. You come to Atlanta this we, weekend. I'm a a hey, listen. We'll go you come viral. to Atlanta. You're going yeah. to Atlanta this weekend. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm gonna go to the school and I'm, I'm gonna get us some tape of me dunking on some motherfuckers. Like, dude, if if we damn. drop that tape, if we drop that tape, we're gonna break the internet. All right, we're gonna get it. For I'm sure. I'm gonna get it this weekend. Bet, bet. Talk a little bit of ball. Uh, we got some odds here. Odds to make the NBA playoffs. We're, we're getting to that crunch time mode. I think the most important, the Lakers. They're going to make it. Yes, oh, minus bro. 130, no plus 100. They're going to make it for sure. They're going to make it for sure. No doubt. Come on, man. Brian go to the playoffs. Yeah. He does. 20 straight years being an all-star starter. 20. We're going to the playoffs. Next team. Warriors. That Hawks. Yes, is plus 300. Oh, Hawks, Hawks ain't going to make too. it, though. No, Hawks the Hawks, Hawks aren't fucking making it. The Hawks are not no. making it. Hornets not making it. Yeah, we know that. Mavericks? I think the oh. Mavericks make it. We got that here. Yeah, I like Dallas. I like Dallas to make it. By the way, shout out to Luka. 70 ball? 75 po 74 points. And, Nobody gives, unlike hey, the other on. guys, go on. Nobody gives a fuck how many points Luca had. 
it, it, we don't have four fucking guys that had 60, 70 point plus. I don't want to hear about that, bro. Can you win a championship? No. Mm, Luke is different. Because if you don't win the championship, you're going to be just like, oh, man, he was one of the best players to ever, ever play. Not win. Yeah. That's what they say about me because I never won a championship. I'm going to be saying the same thing about their ass. Yeah, Luke is different. I think he's MB not. is not going to win the championship. Yeah, MB is not different. See, Luca elevates in the playoffs, and B goes. I I think Luca averaged what forty two against the Clippers when he bounced them, like tell me twenty what, years old. Tell me what NBA finals that Luca done played in. Tell me one of them. Yeah, he doesn't have any help. I mean, how is he gonna compete against fucking I'm Warriors? Saying, of course, and all these other teams. None. He's what? He's twenty four years old. He's a child. So guess what? You gotta make it to. Yeah, um, I just say on basketball, like anybody can hit seventy, bro. Like if I go out there and just if I shoot forty shots, I got a good chance of making seventy points. That's all I'm saying. You think to me, it, NBA, it, you... NBA is it's not like football and all this other these other sports. NBA is about winning as a team than an individual yeah. sport. To me, that's just my personal opinion. No, I get it. I get it. If cuz everybody is so basketball, talented. If you train basketball only one year, that was your you you were putting up a thousand shots a day again. We threw you in the league. You the only game plan uh, was to get no. you the ball and shoot. Oh, uh, how many you you going to give me 40 tries? 40 at least as many as many as you your only goal is to score points how many points are you scoring all right we could do that we could just do that challenge ourselves i could score 70 i could score, you would score, I could 70 score 70 on 40 shots yes. in the nba he had more than 40 he had 43 actually yeah i can do it we got to see that Put that on the schedule. All right. I'm with it. One more thing we got to talk about. Our guy. More your guy. But I what? rock with him. I'm a supporter of him. He's nominated for a big time award. Jelly Roll. Smell me! Best new artist at the Grammys. What? What? Just talk, Plus talk to Congress. What? He's a dog. What? Jelly Roll! All right, now you can sit. Does he cash out at plus 200? Hell yeah. Jelly Roll. Jelly Roll deserve it. Let's go, people. Put in your fucking bets. Jelly roll. 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 Shout out to Ice one of my Spice is cool. Friends. She ain't She's jelly roll. Jelly roll. She's what? not. What? Musically? Fuck out of here. No. Jelly my roll can rap. Pac he Man Jones. Rock. Jelly roll win. I'm betting on that too. Bet online. We both want to bet on that. <laughs> That's Team what Jelly we want. Roll. He can Team do every Jelly genre. Roll, Edge of every. He can do it all. Sing, rap, humble, mom. He's talented, man. And I had a help. chance to um, be around Jelly Roll a lot of our youth career. We went to West Virginia together. Um, I left West Virginia. Um, he left West Virginia a year before me. He was down in Nashville. So, like, my first two, three years, me and Jelly was every day with each other. So, shout out to Jelly Roll, man. I love you, my brother. You've always been this to me. You smell me? Yeah, real dude, real upbringing, no industry plant, just worked his ass off. Yes. And now he's nominated, so shout out to him. Hard work pays off. It does. Jelly Roll, let's go. Jelly Roll. Jelly Roll. Jelly Roll. Jelly Roll. Jelly Roll. Let's go. Jelly Roll.
This has been Running It Back with Pack and Zach, presented by Bet Online.